Hello and welcome my air sign zodiac friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be my weekly reading for my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius friends. Today we're going to explore what you can expect from the week of January 12th through the 18th. We're going to look at those obstacles and challenges and what's more we're going to look at those tools and blessings that will help you throughout the week. Now the deck I chose for this reading is the Tarot Draconis and the Angel Inspiration deck. Like always, there are links below to both these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Air Sign Zodiac friends, let's see what the cards have to say today. What can my Air Sign Zodiac friends expect from the week of January 12th through the 18th? Oh, got a jumper? And that's generosity. This is Archangel Raphael that we have in this picture here, sharing his amazing healing energy. That generosity needs to be turned inwards, and then it also needs to be balanced outwards. That balancing your energies and being generous to others with not only your physical energies, but that emotional and spiritual support. Let's look at it a little bit deeper. What card represents January 12th through the 18th for my air sign zodiac friends? The chariot. The seventh card in the major arcana, and it talks about that willpower and drive that movement forward. Sometimes when we want to move forward, it's important to pause and take that respite and that rest to start to rejuvenate and refresh yourself and your environment. And that's what we're looking at. We've got a lot of duality in this card, so it reinforces that balancing aspect. We have the light and the dark, and then the female and the male. This is one deck that likes to keep that balance so we don't have one charioteer, we have two. Brings in that balance and harmony within that solar plexus chakra to be able to be generous and caring towards ourselves and to those that may need it most. All right, let's get into this week a bit more. What can my air sign zodiac friends expect from the beginning of the week. The Sun, the 18th card in the Major Arcana, and it talks about that joy and harmony, that universal, unconditional loving energy, and its importance in our environment and in our lives. That high vibrational energy is going to go a long way for you. We're going to have that startup of a very happy and joyous time. Embrace it, indulge in it, and start to give back to yourself and those in your life. And of course, don't forget those people who may be really struggling. They may be individuals you haven't had contact with in a long time, but you know that they're struggling. And if you feel very generous, Connect in with people you may not know very well and share that support, that loving, unconditional, amazing universal energy with them as well. When we start to care for ourselves as a global whole, that's when we're going to start to see as a whole, as a society, we start to raise our vibration. And as we start to raise our vibration, we start to see that animosity and those lower vibrations start to slip away. Let's look at the middle of the week. What does the middle of the week bring, my air sign zodiac friends? Another major arcana. The high priestess. We have again another balancing card. 
This card is that connection to that universal knowledge, that connection in to our higher vibrational self, our intuition, and those higher vibrational beings. The High Priestess, again, is a balance card. So that balancing act is going to be key throughout this week. We're looking at that black and white. So we've, we have the Divine Feminine and Masculine in this black and white again. And that's a very big piece for you. We've got this dual aspect being highlighted and really accentuated in this week. So the High Priestess is a gatekeeper. She's got this amazing black and white pillared gate. Again, highlighting the importance of this Divine Feminine and Masculine, which for you, my Air Sign Zodiac friends, is going to be key because we've got that black and white, that duality, really accentuated in the chariot. It's coming in the middle of the week as well. Focusing in and ensuring that we are functioning from a balance-centered direction and a balance-centered energy so depending on how much we're able to connect in and really start to share this vib high vibrational energy will reflect how large this rite of passage is going to be. With a gate, we're looking at a rite of passage. The rite of passage would be that connection in and strengthening your communication and understanding with your higher self and those high vibrational beings. Being able to receive understand and implement the messages and direction from the universe. Let's look at the end of the week. What does the end of the week bring my air sign zodiac friends? It's really laying itself out in a fairly clear message for you here. We have Judgment, the 20th card in the Major Arcana, and it talks about those messages. Usually, the in the original card that Pamela Coleman Smith drew, we were looking at um, Archangel Gabriel being at the top of the card with her horn, really amplifying and calling down that message from the universe. The more we're able to embrace the knowledge that the High Priestess offers us, and then that high vibrational energy of the sun will impact how much you're going to hear this judgment call. And it's not so much that they're judging you, it's that high vibrational message. And like I said at the beginning of the reading, the more we're able to give back to ourselves, the higher our vibration higher our vibration, the more we're going to be able to hear those messages. And those messages are very individualistic. Everybody has a different path, a different journey that they need to be on. That direction is really needed, especially from Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel brings down those messages. Archangel Raphael helps us heal ourselves so that we're able to act on and implement those messages that Gabriel has sent to us. And they're not messages that Gabriel has created, they're messages that Gabriel is passing on from the universe and that higher source. It's a very nice, gentle week for you, my Air Sign Zodiac friends. We're looking at giving back to ourselves, balancing it out so we can give back to others, and when we're generous with our energies, our time, our love, that's when we get it back because we have the karmic law in play. What you put out is what you're going to get back. People are more inclined to give and be compassionate to you when you have done the same to them. So for this gentle week, it looks fantastic. Let's be honest, there's a balance, that light and dark. Let's look at that challenge. What is the obstacles? Oh, we've got cards jumping everywhere now. That my air sign zodiac friends will face in the week of January 12th through the 18th. It'd be great if I could just say, this is how it is and there's going to be nothing standing in your way. 
Unfortunately, that's not the, the case. The first one is the Nine of Cups. Nines are about all that hard work, everything you've achieved and accomplished in your life. The Cups, about that emotion and intuition. What we're looking at in the Nine of Cups is all that we've achieved. Some of it tangible, some of it spiritual and emotional. It can be really hard to share that with others. As a child, many of us struggled with that sharing with siblings or friends. It's mine, why would I share it? Our ego will start to be that toddler. Why am I going to share what I have? Why would I want to do that? It's easier to keep things for ourselves rather than sharing with others. However, it's in that sharing with others that we start to raise our vibration. It's this vibrational shift that is going to help us with that connection piece and being able to receive those messages. It's giving out and giving back that is going to be very helpful with raising our vibration. Now this is a very gentle week. We've got a lot of kind of giving back, rejuvenating. Our ego, with this kind of tantrum-y state, we're going to have the challenge of the Knight of Wands. Our ego is going to try and get us up and going. I want to get going. We need to get things done. There's so much to do. Rather than just enjoying this calm. If you will, it's a calm before the storm. We need time to heal ourselves so that we are able to get up and go. That solar plexus chakra is going to be running in high gear because it's going to be stimulated by this amazing night. Nights are fantastic energies. However, there's a time and a place. So we're going to feel that tantrum must go energy. And with it, the final jumper is the Eight of Wands. That passion and courage is really going to flare up. Your solar plexus is going to want to help you get things moving. That must protect, must do. Don't give. We must move forward. We can't just sit here. So there's going to be a lot of anxious energy that's going to take away and lower your vibration. And that's going to be the main challenge, is kind of keeping your anxiety at bay, keeping your anxiety down. Things that can help out with some of these kind of anxious get up and go feelings. Um, if you're a, a crystal person, something like selenite, something that will help with the root chakra. So if you are looking at tiger iron or even like black tourmaline, something that will bring you down. Selenite can help calm, and then you can use the tiger iron or the, the black jet, black tourmaline to bring you down and keep you grounded. You want to have that calm, loving energy. That's going to help you with that connection piece. That's going to help you feel better. This is a time of giving and caring for ourselves and those around us. This is a time where you want that get up and go. Sure, we need that get up and go in different aspects. If you will, that get up and go needs to be focused in on us. You could, if you wanted, to harness some of this energy to help give back and give back to yourself. However, that calm energy is going to be really needed to help with that connection, to help solidify and help strengthen it. All right, let's go into blessings. What blessing can my air sign zodiac friends embrace for the beginning of the week? <laughs> Sorry. I did say that that calm energy right so 
that very zen like space and energy is going to be needed it will take some strength that solar plexus is going to be needed in another way you need to calm it chakras spin they are a energy vortex and that spinning helps with that movement of energy throughout our system it's a pump if you will your solar plexus is going to be pumping so quickly which brings on that anxious feeling now that strength is going to be needed to bring it down harness it in we do have the chariot which is a solar plexus card it's connected in with your solar plexus that willpower and determination that willpower needs to be focused within so meditation deep breathing relaxing activities will help do things that will help you reduce that energy so that you can do that connection you can start to work on this healing that we're looking at this gives us, and this kind of reminds me, a, a card that would really symbolize this week would be the Four of Swords, that rest and rejuvenation. It's been a really hard time for us. There's been lots of energies coming into December and going throughout December, then that new year, the new decade. It's time for us to take a pause so that we are able to give back to ourselves. All right, let's look at a blessing for the middle of the week. What blessing? Can my air sign zodiac friends embrace in the middle of the week? And we have a jumper of cherished innocence. Really embrace this time. Embrace these energies. If your toddler's going to come out, keep them calm, keep them active. Yes, we need to cherish this time. We need to relish in this amazing, loving energy that's going to be surrounding us. Embrace it and incorporate it into our lives. Because let's be honest, this doesn't happen a lot where we have a week of calm, where we can just take that deep breath and enjoy the week. We don't have to do a lot of work. A lot of this is just connecting in. It's going to be giving back to ourselves. If you want to give back into the larger community, fantastic. It doesn't need to be a lot. This is a time of calm. This is a time of replenishing yourself. And the end of the week. What blessing can my air sign zodiac friends embrace? Have a jumper. At the end of the week. Another jumper? Okay. Kindness was the first one. Kindness to ourselves, kindness to those around us. Really connects back into the generosity card. Kindness to ourselves, kindness to others. It's going to go a long way. And finally, Archangel Uriel. Now Archangel Uriel will help us with some of this kind of challenging energy we're going to have with the solar plexus. Archangel Uriel is the archangel of that courage and determination. He helps bring us into the light. He's going to help calm us down. Archangel Uriel is literally, his name means God's light. He's going to help bring us in and help us with embracing this energy and hearing these messages. He can help reduce and limit that energy that the solar plexus is channeling through you and charging through you. He'll help bring you down. He helps literally strengthen that solar plexus. He can help make sure that this energy is used to its greatest good. And that greatest good is through connecting you in and raising your vibration rather than causing you challenge. Because it's going to be your ego that's going to cause this, your solar plexus to accentuate and to aggravate it, to bring it into high gear. Archangel Uriel can work with you throughout the week to balance it out. Connecting in with Archangel Uriel is really easy. Literally, you just have to ask him. 
Um, if you're a visual person and need something to connect in visually to strengthen your communication, a tiger eye or a yellow crystal will work. He's a very gentle yet strong presence. He's a lot of fun, very open to working with you and supporting you through this journey. Like I said, we just need to ask. He's a high vibrational being. These high vibrational beings, literally, we just need to give them permission to get into our lives and to help us out. All right, let's go on to further some further support here. What further information and guidance can we share with my air sign zodiac friends in embracing these energies of the week of January 12th through the 18th and overcoming the obstacles that they face. Got a few jumpers there. The first one, another major arcana, the magician. The first card in the major arcana, it talks about using your abilities with what's around you, those elements. So usually the magician has those four uh, minor arcanas on a desk. So the pentacle, the cup, the sword, and the wand. So using your abilities, amplifying it with what you have around you to create amazing pieces, that and magic, if you will, in your life. Now, the magician is also the lightning rod of that universal energy. The original card has the magician having an infinity symbol above his head and he has one hand with his wand up in the air and the other pointing down to the earth. Drawing that universal energy so we're not burning ourselves out, adding it to our existing abilities to start to create some amazing aspects and pieces and achievements in our lives. The magician gives us and helps us harness our power to be able to manifest what it is we need in our lives. And then we have the four of wands. Fours are a stable foundational number. Wands about that passion and inner fire. The four of wands is really a celebration card. The original card has four wands with a canopy over top and there's people dancing. It's a celebration. It's literally another rite of pas passage card. It's usually considered like a ceremony card of a wedding or graduation of sorts where you're celebrating that amazing change and next step. Even though we're not doing a lot of hard labor, this week offers you the ability to really connect in, start to work on some of that healing and that connection, which again is that rite of passage. The Four of Wands, of course, amplifies that need to give back to ourselves, but also, more importantly, to help others as well. That community sense is going to be key. We need to be able to balance our energies out so that we are able to care for those around us. And then we have the 12th card in the Major Arcana, the Hanged Man. The more we are able to let go and let go of some of this crazy that our solar plexus is going to do, let go of some of that burden that we're been focusing in and in some cases hyper focusing in on the more we'll get out of this week the hanged man is the quintessential let it go card that need to let go of that build up those societal expectations and those really absurd expectations we have on ourselves let's be honest we're the one who puts some crazy demands on ourselves really looking at and critically thinking about, because let, let's be honest, air signs, air signs are connected into that knowledge. Critically thinking about what is going to be really important for you this week. We're looking at a week's energy. We're not looking at a lifetime's energy. 
So focusing in on what's really important, letting go, and seeing how the universe starts to bring down some amazing pieces. That knowledge and energy will really help us out. And the final card that jumped out, the Seven of Cups. Now sevens are a challenge card. They're usually victorious though. The Seven of Cups is an illusion card. It literally looks at that seven deadly sins. And I'm not getting that there's going to be a lot of illusions put in our, our path. This isn't an obstacle card. This is more of a clarity card. And what you're going to find is, is that you're going to have clarity from some of this illusion and confusion that you've been feeling. Things that have been kind of sitting there and you're not sure. That indecision. You're going to start to see that path become clearer. That connection in and guidance will help. And I'm, I'll, I'll cut some illusion right now. The majority of you will not see Archangel Gabriel come in, sit down and say, okay, I need you to take out a pen and paper. This is what you need to do. It's going to be feelings and hunches. Those feelings and hunches are those high vibrational beings kind of pulling you, literally, at that solar plexus. But we're not looking at them literally coming in and sitting down and saying, take a pen and paper, here you go. That's not how they give us large pieces of information. Rather, they do it through a download, which is another beast into itself. It's going to be those little pieces, those moments of kind of, wow, that makes sense. Aha, if you will. And some of it's going to be through our clairsentience, which are feelings, and also those kind of gut instincts, if you will. And some of you, it might be claircognizance, which is just knowing something. Things will literally pop into your head and you're like, oh, well, that makes sense. Why didn't I see that before? Those are the two clairs that the majority of us haven't shut down. And we didn't shut them down because societally and medically, knowing and feeling are needed to be a quote unquote normal individual. Hearing, seeing, that causes other mental health problems. So we never shut them down as kids. We don't tap into them as much. However, we never shut them down. So follow those gut instincts. And if you're wary of them, write them down. Connect into the community, connect into those loving individuals. This is not a, an action week. This is about a healing week. You're going to gain the direction and you can use those critical thinking skills about that direction, especially if it's something that really hits home and you're really unsure about. Take your time. Do not rush into things. Allow things to unfold. You can point your chariot in a specific direction. You don't have to make the horses run. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I hope that you found this video fun and helpful and that you were able to gain some insight and direction into what the week holds for you. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. There are so many new fantastic ideas and evolutions of current ideas that I'm going to incorporate throughout this year. So the best way to stay connected so you don't miss any of the healing or insight is through hitting that little red bell and subscribing to my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. And some of the tiers, the perks are private healings and readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius friends,